Welcome to the tutorial video for Doan University eLibrary. In this tutorial, we will cover all the features and benefits of the platform so you can take maximum benefit of the eLibrary. The eLibrary sits at doan.refreed.com. To access the eLibrary collections and all its features, you must log in into the platform. Many features like the ability to save content into reading lists or to place item requests, login is mandatory. In fact, the logged in activity also helps us understand your reading and your research interests better. In case you do not have your account registered on the platform, send us your full name, enrollment number or employee ID, your department or school, preferably your mobile number as well and your official email address to the library support email address shown here. Now let's look at the platform. Visit dual.refreed.com. The first thing that you need to do is login. So click on the login button here. If you do not have your account registered already, just send your details to the email addresses shown here and we will get back to you with your login credentials within 24 hours. I'm going to log in using my demo account and as soon as I log in into the platform, I have full access to all its collections and services. You can track all your past readings on the homepage. In fact, keep up with all the latest content which has been acquired in the library or recommended by the library staff. They have all the ebooks and recommended journals and video lectures displayed here. You can catch on the head headlines from multiple online news portals or whatever content is being read most in the campus is also shown on the homepage. You can browse the e-library by subject. You can click on any of these subjects to list e resources for that particular subject area or discipline. In fact, not just by subject, you can also browse content by publisher. These are all the subscribed databases or content platforms uh, which are licensed or subscribed by the library. So let's say you want to read a journal from AIP. Click on the link. It will display all the journals. Click on the read button and the platform will take you to the publisher platform wherein you don't need to do any parallel login on the publisher platform. The Publisher platform will recognize you as an authenticated user of Doan University and you will have full text access to all the articles, uh, both in HTML format as well as you can download the PDF if you want to. So basically the experience that you uh, now uh, had only within the campus is accessible to you across the globe. Similarly, you can access all these publishers. Uh, one more publisher which we wanted to highlight in this tutorial is the latest acquisition by the library called Presider, which is the world's largest aggregator for newspapers and magazines. In case you wish to read any magazine, let's say India Today, just click on the read button and you will be authenticated on the publisher platform automatically and you can read the latest issue of that particular magazine or newspaper both in the exact uh, representation as it is uh, printed in physical format, but you can also read articles in uh, rich text format as well. Uh, this is how you switch over the views from page view to text view. You can click on the text view and you can now read this article in simple HTML text view. You can in fact also copy the entire text on your clipboard in case you want to refer to an article in a magazine or a newspaper. You can also do text to speech. So this platform has an inbuilt text to speech reader. So you can also listen to articles. And not just for the current issue, the platform gives you access to archives for over a decade. So you can go as early as 2012 and you can read the past issues of a particular newspaper and magazines as well. Uh, this is how you can filter content uh, from India on the homepage. 
and these are all the renowned newspapers and magazines that you might want to read on Pressredo. It's a brilliant platform, do give it a try. Like AIP and Pressredo, let's just go back to the platform now. You have access to all the publishers 24 seven from anywhere uh, across the globe uh, and on any device of your choice. In addition to subscribed databases, we have also curated open access resources from green or gold standard repositories. There are close to a million plus thesis, videos, ebooks, and journals, uh, all combined uh, and uh, curated to support your research and learning needs. Uh, even in case of videos, you will find there are close to 1,24,000 uh, educational videos and classroom lectures curated from more than 200 different platforms and NPTEL is only one of them. So it's a great collection of open access resources that you can take full advantage of. You can also browse content by media. Herein you will find Dune University thesis as well, listed as a uh, document format and you will find all the uh, electronic thesis and dissertations uh, aggregated here. Uh, we will keep building these topical collections. Uh, one of them is Dune Institutional Repository already aggregated here. By department, you can browse resources. And these are the previous year question papers for let's say Department of Computer Science. We will keep building more topical collections as we go forward. The platform also has a rich news uh, clipping service wherein the library staff is uh, uploading latest uh, e-news related to university and uh, you can also catch on the headlines from uh, more than 50 plus online news portals and uh, the platform features expert talks from channels like TED, Big Think, there are close to 10,000 plus expert talks and also uh, literary works in Hindi, English, Urdu and Punjabi. There are close to 16,000 uh, e-books or audio books which you can download. These are 100% open access literary works and you can read them on the e-library. Now let's look at the single window search and how you can discover content on the e-library. So you can use this basic search bar and I'm going to use quotes on my search to look for content having climate change as a phrase in the title. So you see here I got about 1400 catalog results which includes all the journals, ebooks, videos, both open access and subscribed content. So in one search I get to see all the publications and if library team has uploaded anything into the topical collections it will appear here and if there are any news articles related to my search query, they'll appear in this tab. I can also see expert talks or literary works uh, related to my search query. So there's one more tab here called print collections. If you switch over to this tab, you will find that the platform also gives me results from all the print holdings of the library. So if there are any print books available in your library related to my search. It is um, show them as well. Of course, I cannot read them online, but I can see their availability and their location. Uh, if you are a research scholar or a faculty, you can click on this articles tab and the platform will broadcast your search query to all the subscribed journal uh, journals and databases. So instead of going to these platforms separately, you can perform a single search and platform will do all the work and bring in the latest and most relevant research articles. Uh, and you can filter them by source and just click on the read button. The process is same and you can read the research article both in HTML and PDF format without uh, doing any parallel authentication on the publisher platform. The remote access is inbuilt even in the article search. So that saves you a lot of time and a lot of uh, effort as well. You can target your search query to a particular media type using this option in the basic search bar or you can use the advanced search form to perform more uh, complex search queries. You can define the search query to a particular metadata field and uh, also other parameters like year of publication whether you want to search 
only in a particular uh, media type you can do that similarly for articles also you can perform a complex query defining the keywords for the title and authors and also uh, you know you can uh, target your search query to a particular source so instead of all the sources you can select a couple of them and uh, send your search query to only those two or three databases you can in fact create your own favorite list of sources as well for the article search so let's say you are um, a, a social science researcher you can just select jstor and spinner link and mark them as your favorite for the article search going back to the search results let's say i don't want to read a particular uh, document right now and i want to save it for future reference on every search result you will find this button here uh, with a bookmark icon click on this and you can uh, create a folder let's say you are working on a research project you can create a particular folder for that research and you can save this document into that folder you can create as many folders as you want you can save as many documents as you want into those folders i'm going to bookmark one more um, document here the process is same i click on this bookmark icon i can select the folder i just created and i can save it and all these documents and folders that you uh, saved are available here in the reading list and you can see these are the two documents i saved once you save documents into reading list you can also select these documents and email them to your peers directly from the platform you can just uh, add the email address here and the platform will send the links of these two documents to your peer or your co-author you can also export the citation on these documents in more than 1000 citation styles so let's say i want to export uh, the citation in apa6 format i select that and i click on the generate citation button i can copy this citation and paste it wherever i am authoring a paper the platform offers many other personalization features like webhook using which i can save third party web pages on the platform and social lib but more on those features in the coming tutorials all the e collections and services that were explained in this tutorial can be accessed not just through the web platform but through a custom branded mobile app available both on uh, play store for android devices and ios app store for apple devices we look forward to your feedback and suggestions on dune university e library till the next time happy reading